All right, uh, Luffy's popping off at levels we have never seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Monster Eye Shinobi. We have episodes 305 and 306 of our One Piece watch through today. Now, this is the climax, as far as I know, of any Lobby, and climax it is. Buster Call is fully invoked. The Navy is here. And at the same time, the whole crew is fighting for their lives, a lot of them against the flooding tunnel down below the Bridge of Hesitation. Meanwhile, like I said, Luffy is popping off against Luchi using finally we get to see third gear and just this omega fist punching him through the wall we're gonna hop right into it not waste any time if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's get started oh he landed on the ship he's so lucky bro he is so lucky oh Okay, so now we're, I'm guessing we're gonna see why he becomes so small. Maybe it's just because of an, like an overload of, of his energy, his power. Oh, that's what he heard. Wait, no, but he heard it all the way back up on the Tower of Law. Huh? Huh? Yep, yep, there it is. Well, well, well. How are they outrunning it? Oh my, how positive. Uh, just make your own exit. Oh no, he can't. Big steel. I was gonna say either that, yeah, or the pressure of the water pushing in. Uh, well, they just die. The, co the full collapse of any lobby. Oh, no one can man the train. Out of the vice admirals, this one seems the most headstrong about just flattening it all. Oh, his coat is sick. We're just gonna sit here and keep firing off? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's back! Back to normal. He's so cool, man. He's on our side! Oh shoot, the shirt is off! The suit is off! Dude, the fight continues. Third gear wasn't enough to put him down. I don't know what would be. 15 years ago. This is Rob Lucci origin? I do like big lore dives though. Who is this? He looks kind of goofy. What is the what is this facial hair, man? Damn, he looks crazy. I'm surprised he's even giving him the option to surrender. He looks crazier than that. Oh, hostages. That makes sense. The throne. But Rob Lucci showed up and saved the day. Emissary. I'm guessing that's him. Dude, young young Lucci? Sent a boy. Damn, he does. He's so small. Oh my gosh. The prey. I'm assuming he already has his Zoan type at this point, so he sees him as prey because he's an animal. Think so he's been in like a higher position all his life. No wonder he's fine with just saying yes to what Spandam says because he knows like the hierarchy of things. He knows how it works. He's not some amateur. Oh my God, he's gonna roll everybody on this boat. It's interesting that it's giving us his backstory now too. Maybe to keep intent. Oh my God, he's on board. And they're just gonna laugh at him. He's a boy. Dang, how did the government get a hold of him to like get him to work for them? God dang. He already had Iron Body this young? There's no way he had all six this young. Does he actually care about the hostages? Did he care? Oh, maybe that's what he wanted so he could get the hostages out. This is a fat detour from what's going on, but it's pretty interesting. And I feel like it's important that they're showing us Luchi's backstory. It has to hold some importance, especially since he's not down and out. And if he's not down and out, then it's still going to cause a problem for Luffy. Oh my gosh. Hey, he's just gonna rescue all the hostages this way easy peasy oh my goodness wait they're hostages but are is there even any like guards watching over them what ah! oh my god he killed all of them 
What? Did he do that so that those pirates have no hold? Oh my gosh! This guy knows everything about Luji. Oh my goodness. Damn. Just wiped a, a clean slate at wherever this kingdom was. Or oh, we're gonna see him kill the, the pirate captain. Luchi is, is, is cold, man. Committed a crime? What? Oh! Being, allowing yourselves to be taken hostage? Damn, see, Luchi is a villain, bro. Span Dam could never. I'm not saying it's a good thing he did this, but like, he is cold. I guess it's showing us how he feels about true justice and how it aligns with the Navy. Surely you're able to take him down. God. Wait, what's on his back? And this is the man that... Well, now he's uh, uh, like actually grown up. This is who Luffy's taking on. I mean, that pirate captain that was really all bark. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not the Navy symbol, it's the CP9. Or this is, yeah. Dark Justice. 13 years old. And he does the dirty part of it. Well, technically, their part's pretty dirty seeing as they're New Guinea's lobby. Luffy? Bro, it's going to finish the job? I think he'd be that fat. Dang. Oh, Bone Balloon. Oh, he's still third gear? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who is this? So third gear turns every move he does into just a giganto. Oh, my goodness. Movies built different. The fight continues. Nice. How long can he go on like this, though? This has used so much. Especially considering he used it once to break down the door and then turn small. I did not think Luffy would get to the point where, like, one leg slam would tear a ship down. Yeah, the bigger the punch, the slower, it, slower it's thrown. Second gear is speed. Third gear is just, like, raw sheer strength. Oh my gosh. It's funny because that Vice Admiral would be fine with this because he said whatever it takes. He would say whatever it takes to take down Luffy. Bro, Spandam is in rough shape. Who's this Vice Admiral? He kind of looks like the one that was uh, on the train. They all know how strong Luchi is. Oh my gosh. They know that Luchi would survive it. 1,000 men. Oh my god. These Marines are ruthless. Damn. Damn. They cold, bro. Didn't even give him a warning. They're just gonna nuke the ship. T-Bone, that's who he reminded me of. He is much meaner than T-Bone, though. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the fight against Luchi finished whenever Luffy went gear three and punched him. Because, like, I mean, there's so much to take care of. If he can't take down Luchi with that hit, what are they supposed to do against all the Navy afterwards? I guess unless all the Straw Hats come together, but they're all in a flooding tunnel! Episode 306, let's go. Oh, no, he's out, too? Oh, at least he shot over there. No! He is so adorable, though. Dude, I mean, if, if he's out of commission, who's gonna take down Luchi, man? What a kickback. Uh, okay, so it's like a 50 50 trade off. He's just gonna hide. <laughs> so the time that he stays in third gear is the time it takes him to get back just to his regular body, it seems. At least it's not like irreparable damage to where, like, he's just, he can't do it again for a long time. He's going to look for him. They are still running through the entrance. Thank goodness. Oh no. I feel like this is not going to go well. 
Look at how big the ships are, man. I mean, they sent a thousand men on board one. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh. You do not say that about Tom, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Frankie didn't even let him finish, baby. Didn't even let him finish. Oh, you gonna fight back? Let's see it, clown. Punk feed. Giga Chad Frankie just grabbed it. Holy. Punk Free just changed sides. True. Oh my gosh. Damn. Damn. That elephant stopped real quick. They're trying. I like how she still does it. She's not wavering now. I would hope she wouldn't. And now it's about to be nothing, man. It is pretty insane. Like, the military budget has to be nuts for them to just nuke an island this like this and not even blink. That's why, like I said, monster calls must never happen. Ever. Beat the world into their enemy. <laughs> He's, like, inspired by them. And to think he robbed them. He knew what he would do if he had a chance to hurt him one day. Give him his comeuppance. <laughs> He's just dragging the element. Oh my god! Let's go, Frankie! Yes! Kind of feel bad for the elephant, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It serves Spandam. The Straw Hats do inspire. Yeah, he's getting all this revenge for Tom that happened all those years ago. He'll die here too. Damn! I, dude, Frankie has been like a breakout in this arc. I was just kind of weird at first, but what a beast. This thing in them like inspired her, seeing all they've gone through. I almost wish Aokiji was here, but then I'd be more scared of the Navy, so maybe it's a good thing he's not. It will not go for three, bro. I absolutely refuse. Ain't no way. Especially since it's, it is so upbeat right now. Jaguar's soul died for this. It's all built from this, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's just hide and seek time for Luffy. This is the area that I think is going to snap. It's inevitable, man. If they just nuke the whole island. At least they're making it across this now. Surely, I think. Nice. Okay, everybody's out. Everybody else. Oh, no! There are ships here! Who is this? Oh, this is another vice admiral. Okay. Did they just swing around? Oh, no! They're actually on the chopping block. If they turn and run, they're just gonna fire. Well, they're gonna fire anyways. So you might as well run. Not like this. There's no way. Not like this. Who else could show up, though? They have to fight for themselves. What? That sounds like someone's gonna die! Yeah! Bowie, you're my prediction for joining the crew! You can't go out like this, brother! What are you going away from that? It's just not right! It's just not right! Oh my god, he found Luffy. Luffy, where did you hide? Things are going so wrong! He doesn't stand a chance like this. Oh my gosh! Luffy's actually gonna lose! <laughs> Damn! I saw disrespect slap, baby. There's no way it's been enough time. It's gonna be just in time. Oh. What? Oh! Wait, what? Wait, was it fatal? Is he like taking... Oh. Nice. Oh my gosh. Wait, he's a ticking time bomb then if he's slowly still taking damage from that punch. I knew it had to have done more than just launch him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is... No, I would say this is most dire, but I would say those are the front gates are most dire. Although I don't know how they get out of this tunnel aside from just holding their breath and trying to get back. Chopper is just unconscious. I would say it'd be a problem since he's a devil freezer, but none of them can just... He can't swim, but none of them can hold their breath that long anyways. This is life flashing before his eyes. Uh, what? 
It's a fish. It's a mermaid. Oh my god, is that Kokoro? Is Kokoro a mermaid? What? That looks like her hair. And I didn't see Kokoro get pulled in. No way. Dang! Oh my god! It is! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Dugong? Is that a creature? Bro! <laughs> what is happening anymore, man? So over the... Okay, uh, the last two... Like, there's so many, like, very end-of-the-line situations that were set up. So Kogoro's gonna save them. Get them out of there. I was wondering how that would tie up. I was like, the whole crew doesn't just drown like this. There's no way. But the front gate? Oh my gosh! What are they supposed to do? I have a really bad feeling that the entire next episode is going to be just one big execution scene for them. It's going to be disastrous and a heartbreaking but and then like luchi i guess the the whole thing with him is just gonna be stamina like luffy just has to keep him busy and i mean but we still have all the the vice admirals all the ships the uh, thousands of navy men i still don't see how you even escape from this scenario considering there's no ship for them to leave on i guess best case scenario they take one of the ships and try to dip that way but guys that has been it for episodes 305 and 306 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace